Now we're ready to describe our logistic regression model. It takes a score as input that ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity, and is actually W transpose H of Xi. It pushes it through the sigmoid function to estimate the probability that Y is equal to plus one given Xi and W. So what does that mean more explicitly is that this probability is equal to one over one plus e to the minus score of xi, which is the same as saying one over one plus e to the minus w transpose h of xi. And we can just, uh, um, for fun, write out that uh, w transpose h explicitly. So it's one plus e to the power of minus w0 h0 of xi plus w1 h1 of xi plus dot 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 plus w capital D hd of xi. Zip. And now we have it. That's what a logistic regression model looks like. It predicts the output was the probability of a positive sentiment given the input x and the parameters w. Now let's take a moment to understand the logistic regression model a little bit better. So as input, we have the score of a sentence x or any other input that we have. And as output, we have the probability that the label is plus one given the input x and the parameters w. And that's the one over e to the power of a minus w transpose h of x. Now, if the score is zero, and I'm gonna draw it like this, we have that this probability is 0 0.5. So if the score is zero, the probability is 0 0.5. Now, what do I observe uh, firsthand is everything to the left of zero has score less than zero. So we should be predicting that these points on the left have y hat equals minus one, and everything to the right of zero has score greater than zero. So we should be predicting that y hat on the right side is equal to plus one. So let's see that in action. So for example, let's say that um, we had a score of minus two. What would happen to our prediction? So we say the probability y equals plus one is actually 0 0.12 if you plug that in. So minus two gives you 0 0.12. If you had plus two, um, and you push it to the right side, you get 0 0.88. So if the score is plus two, it's 0 0.88. Is it a surprise to you that 0 0.12 uh, plus 0 0.8 adds up to one? It's not a surprise because uh, probability of y equals plus one minus probability, plus the probability of y equals minus one adds up to one, and uh, sigma is a symmetric function, so everything is working out exactly the way we hope for. Now, if the score is bigger, Let's say the score is four. We should still output a y equals plus one, but we should be more sure. So let's push that through. If the score is four, look, we're getting really big here. And the prediction of the probability is 0 0.98. In other words, for the points, um, where the score is less than zero, you see that the probability is less than 0 0.5 of being y equals plus one, which implies that we've output a y hat of minus one, while for the ones where the score is positive, we're gonna output y hat is equal to plus one. And here we see in action the logistic regression model and how it has the characteristics that we're hoping for.